Well, someone has a question here mm. for you. Uh, yeah. Good uh, enough, you're still very here. And uh, he's from Olayin uh, Kaini here in Ujudu in Lagos. He said, uh, is it not possible for the three counts uh, not to run concurrently because uh, each count came with a uh, two years uh, jail sentence? Well, normally what, what happens is that, you know, in those kind of cases, the, 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 the judges decide that the sentences are to run concurrently because largely the, it, 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 it's, it, it, they're accusing him of doing, you know, two, three things related to just one, one, one matter, which was the theft of that amount of money from the Treasury. You know, uh, you, in financial crimes, really, um, the, the term of imprisonment, you know, is not really so long. You know, as in, say, let's say you, you, you kill somebody or you assault somebody grievously. What, what, what the state really aims at in financial crimes is to ensure that the loot is retrieved and that you do commensurate time. So it's very rare for you, for example, to see somebody who stole public, who stole money or committed fraud to be sentenced to life imprisonment. Oh. But what the system does is to make sure that you are financially incapacitated for life. And you do spend a fair time in prison. And so far, none of those aims no, no, has been achieved. Uh, none has been achieved in this case. Wow. None. The, the, the fine is too paltry. It's, it's um, with respect, it's, it's an insult to the generality of Nigerians. Because it is these same financial crimes that leads to uh, yeah, some killing others. Yeah. And so yeah. some had actually thought that this should actually be even stiffer or as equally stiffer as that of when you kill somebody. It, yeah, then it, it depends on what the prosecution, how the prosecution frames the charges. Because, you know, you can, you can say somebody that may, maybe because you defrauded an hospital, <coughs> you, you led to the death of, of so many people. So rather than charging him for for, for, for the aspect of stealing the money. You mm -hmm. can charge him for, for murder or manslaughter as the case may and be. And he could get higher sentence. Yes. Then he can get life or in cases where the death penalty is appropriate, he can get the death penalty. But it can still be plea bargaining in that circumstance. That can still be plea bargaining. Because if, if the guy sees that, ah, I might be in, in jail for life for murder, then he can say, look, this is all I've stolen. This is where I laundered into. I'm giving up everything. And then they say, okay, fine, if you're giving up everything, you're still going to go to jail for a pretty long time, but we're not going to give you life. Okay? Interesting. 